Hey, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know you think this is a repeat video and I do apologize. I want to show you that something even easier to help you with the battle life fix error uh, that you're getting whenever you're trying to launch GTA 5, whether it be on story mode or whether you're trying to launch Rage Hook. Now, here's the trick is you have to make sure that you have a completely 100% updated game to do anything what I'm about to show you regardless, because it's going to make you download BattleEye, and BattleEye is just an anti-cheat type of uh, program, if you will, that is included with the update, uh, the latest update of Grand Theft Auto V. So you're gonna have to download that anyway, regardless, uh, you can't really get around that. But I'm gonna show you a really quick, uh, simple fix that I've kind of learned about recently. Uh, the er other video I had you delete out a EXE file, which you can still do that, by the way. And so that video is still valid, but I'm gonna go ahead and probably delete that video. So if you've already seen it, I apologize. I'll show you an easier fix. Uh, we're gonna go to Windows down here. And you're going to type in uh, basically Rockstar. Start typing in Rockstar. If you've done it recently, it'll probably pop up faster. And then it'll start popping up an app for the launcher. Go ahead and launch the app. This will be a little bit easier fix than what I told you before with the uh, deleting of that other EXE file. So what you want to do is go over here to the very top. Uh, you're going to see settings right there. So click on settings. And then you're going to see that BattleEye is uh, enabled. And uh, this is going to be mainly required for online gameplay, even though it says which may be required for all online play. Uh, that is a fact. Uh, if you're going to play online, which I think most of you that watch my channel will not be playing online, so it doesn't really matter. But for those of you that do play online, you have to have it checked. There's not much you can do about it. You have to let that kind of run in the background. It's their anti-cheat software that I guess they decided to finally implement after 10 plus years uh, being on the PC. I just simply uncheck that box right there and you're good to go. You don't need to save anything. Uh, you can go back to games. No reason to really launch it from here unless you're one of those people, sort of like me, that likes to launch it from here in story mode and then launch Rage Hook. But what I like to do personally is just reduce this down and then go ahead and launch uh, Rage Plug and Hook and you're all good. You're not going to get any kind of errors uh, with this method. The other method that I showed you uh, maybe less than 30 minutes ago that I released my other video, uh, that one there you have to uh, click on retry uh, with the Battle Eye Launcher if it's not in you know, the GTA 5 underscore BE. If it's not in your main game directory, uh, then it'll probably ask you to retry it. So no need to really delete that file anymore. Uh, just kind of uncheck that in the settings. I'm sorry I missed that. I do apologize and sorry for the second upload of a fix for the battle eye. But this will at least get you into the game. Now, if you're wondering why I'm able to get into the game uh, after the update, uh, that is because I have a backed up copy of GTA 5. And I've always strongly encouraged you guys to always back up your, your game it takes literally, you know, maybe at one minute. I'm gonna link the video down again to a video that shows you how to revert your game to be prepared for the next update. It doesn't help you now. You're gonna have to wait for Script Took to update, as well as LSP Fire and Rage Hook. I know it sucks. Remember, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've done this uh, probably over almost 100 times. Now I feel your pain. Sometimes Script Took gets updated pretty quick, and then other times it may take, you know, a few days, or it may take even an over, you know, up to, you know, seven to 10 days. I have a feeling it'll probably be a quick fix, uh, you know, for Alexander Blade, uh, the maker of Script Took, uh, to get on the ball pretty fast. The Dim Put 8, which will be blocked by the uh, Battle Eye, uh, you won't have to really worry about it anymore if you disable that through your Rockstar, you know, Games Launcher settings. So it should all be good. Hopefully this video helps you a little bit quicker than the last one. Until next time, I will see you on the next patrol. Take care and stay safe.